Marilyn Monroe again, and I'm speaking to you from the dimensions once more. Oh, there are many more interviews coming, don't you worry. Right, so I've come again to speak to you about my death. And to speak to you about, well I know I've mentioned it before, but I haven't yet specifically gone into it completely, so I thought, let me start there. So, there are probably so many conspiracy theories about my death and how I died and why I died and who removed me and, oh God, you know, all those things. Well, I've got something to tell you. I killed myself. I told you I had a specific age limit and I've had enough of this world. It had gotten boring. The men had gotten boring, the tabloids, the media, I got tired, I had enough, my, my reign had come to its end, my, how can I say, I've just had enough, so I removed myself, and that's how I died. That's how I decided to remove myself from this world. Of course you'd think it's crazy. Of course you'd think, no, Marilyn would never do that. Of course I would. Then, if you made such a statement, you did not know who I was. You did not know me at all. I would most definitely do such a thing. And you know what? Hmm. I'll only come back to Earth when we don't get old, when we don't have to get old, when we can stay young into infinity, remain the expression of ourselves that we would wish to be and just be that way into infinity. I mean, how wonderful would that be? Why would you want to get old and suffer for the rest of your life? You know, you have fun for 20 years, 25 years, and then you suffer for the rest of the 25 or maybe 35 or maybe 45 because you become older and, and every year you go, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, and that becomes your greatest fear. Your greatest fear be becomes to get old and you know what, I just decided I didn't want to sit with that. I just decided that I'm not going to allow myself to sit with that fear of getting old and seeing my skin go all wrinkly and have my time pass like that and sitting in those newspapers. Marilyn Monroe, old witch. Look how old Marilyn Monroe has gotten. Look at her wrinkles. Look at her face. What happened? And I didn't want to become old and have someone else replace me. So I thought, you know what? Replace me while I'm here. So I thought, you know what? Let me remove myself. Let me do that honor for myself. I've lived long enough. I've done here what I've come to do, I've done what I've experienced, I've experienced what I wanted to experience, so I will kill myself. And that's what I did. Not particularly the way I pictured it, but hey, it was there in the moment and so I did it. And it was simple, and it was fast, no pain, nothing. And I'm fine now. I've always been fine. I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. And as I've said in my previous interview, I had some fun in my little heaven after I died. And, but there's so much more to tell you. There's so much more. There's so much more to share that is actually going on in this world. And where I am now, what I am up to. What am I up to? You're probably wondering, what on earth would Marilyn Monroe be doing? What on earth would Marilyn Monroe be expressing in this world? What is she doing? What is she saying here? Well, you're going to have to take my word for it. Because there's more. And I'll sh only share more a little bit later. So, enjoy. That was my little bit. Keeping all of you a little bit tied.
Tio Chaves sitting in front, waiting in anguish for the next interview to come. And my death isn't really important, you know. My life here on earth isn't really important. So let's remove my life on earth. Let's remove my death. Let's remove it. Because it's not important. Guess what? I am still here. I still exist. And I've got so much more to tell you than my boring life on earth and my boring death. And you will understand as I continue why I, Marilyn Monroe, would say that it was boring. Okay, bye.